Hello and thank you for watching my video. My name is Astrid Krasnici. I'm CCNA and CCMP certified instructor. On this video, I will do a demonstration on configuring IPv6 static and default routes. This is Packet Tracer 6.2.4.4. So if I just go and start up a Packet Tracer. So configuring IPv6 static and default route. Okay, now the packet tracer has started. I'll just close this user profile. This is our network topology, so I'll move this to the right here, and then I'll go to our activity. So I'll move the activity to the left. Okay, so objectives for this activity. Part one, it's examine the network and evaluate the need for static routing. Part two, configure an IPv6 static and default routes. And then part three, verify connectivity. A small background here, it says, in this activity, you will configure IPv6 static and default route. A static route is a route that is entered manually by the network administrator in order to create a route that is re reliable and safe. There are four different static routes used in, active, in this activity. A recursive static route, a directly attached static route, a fully specified static route, and default route. So, okay. Part one, examine the network and evaluate the need of the static routing. Looking at the topology diagrams, how many networks are there in total? So if you look at that's our network topology, right? So let's move it to the, yeah, so we can see it. So we have a one network, router one has got a local area network, router two has got a local area network as well, and router three has got a local area network. So each router has got his own local area network. There are three routers, three local area networks. Router 1, there's a network between router 1 and router 2, and there's a network between router 2 and router 3. Well, these, those are wide area networks, so two more networks, so five networks in total. How many networks are directly connected to router 1, router 2, and router 3? Router 1 has got a local area network, 1, and the wide area network, so router 1 has got two directly connected networks. Router 2 has got one local area network, and two wide area networks, so three directly connected networks. And router three has got one local area network and one wide area network, so two directly connected networks. How many static routes are required by each router to reach networks that are not directly connected? So router one needs to know how to get to this network, so one static route, needs to go know how to get to this local area network, so two static routes, and the wide area network, so three static routes for router 1. Same goes for router 3. Router 3 needs to know router 2 LAN, router 1 LAN, and the wide area network. So 3 for, for router 1 and 3 static routes for router 3. Router 2, on the other hand, needs only 2 static routes. The LANs, router 1 LANs and router 3 LANs. So 2 static routes. Okay, so which command is used to configure IPv6 static route? So it's similar to IPv4 static route. So instead of just saying IP root for IPv4, in IPv6 we say IPv6 root. And then destination network, prefix, and then either exit interface or the neighbor's IP address, or both. So if we do both, it's a fully specified static route. Okay, in part two, it says configure an IPv6 static and a default route. Enable IPv6 routers on all routers. Okay, so by default, IPv4 is enabled, yeah? But IPv6 is not enabled. So we have to go to each router and enable IPv6. The command, it says which command accomplish this. So the command, first you have to go to a privilege mode, then the global configuration mode. So first enable, configure terminal. Sorry, configure terminal. Then IPv6, unicast routing. So this command will enable IPv6 routing. We have to do the same for all three routers. So I just done a router 1. So if I open router 2, see that I have a router 2. There you go. Configure the terminal. IPv6 unicast routing. Okay, so I need to do for router 3 as well. 
Auto CLI or Root of Tree. Enable config terminal. IPv6 unicast routing. Okay. So we enabled on all three routers unicast IPv6 unicast routing. Um, and the command on each router, we've done that. So we go to step two. Configure recursive static routes on router one. Configure an IPv6 rec recursive static route to every network not directly connected to router one. So recursive static route means that you tell in the neighbor's IP address, not the exit interface or not fully specified neighbor's IP address. Recursive is because the, the router, once it finds out how to get to the destination, it's faced with the IP address. But then it has to do another lookup to find out how to get to that IP address. So what we need to do in router 1, we need to create a recursive lookup for all destinations not directly connected. So if we have a look at this, so this network is directly connected, so we now don't need to do anything. This network is directly connected, so we don't need to do anything. We need to configure how to get to this network, this network, and this network. So the command is IPv6 root, the network is 2001, 2001 db8 1 colon sorry db8 1 colon 2 colon colon forward slash 64 that's a network and recursive lookup recursive static route we're going to do it you're going to point to the neighbor's ip address right so that's going to be routed to this address we don't need to put the prefix just the address so i'll copy this can I copy it? Paste it. Yeah, it did work. Excellent. Okay, so IP route to the destination uh, local area network of router 2, 2001, db8, 1, colon 2, colon colon 64, prefix. And then we're going to send it to our neighbor, 2001, db8, 1, a001 colon colon 2 that's our neighbor press enter now we need to create another default static route sorry not default recursive static route to local area network of root 3 so ipv6 root 2001 db8 and the address is 1 colon 3 colon colon 64 and again we're going to send it to our neighbor so 2001 that's our neighbor, db8, 1, sorry, 1, a001, colon, colon, 2. And then we're going to need another static route that says to get to this network, which is to get to this network, ipv6 root 2001, db8, 1, a002, colon, colon, 64. And we're going to send it to forward slash 64 we're going to send it to this neighbor 64 2001 db8 1 a001 colon colon 2 okay db8 1 yeah a002 colon colon forward slash 64 that's like a subnet mask in ipv4 yeah prefix links on ipv6 and then we're going to send it to our neighbor. That's a recursive static route. Enter. And show IP route. Okay, nothing. Why? Well, because show IP route is for IPv4. Show, you need to say show IPv6 route to see the static route. Now I can see all my routes there, even directly connected and the local IP address. Of the interface and my static route. So if you would just want to see the static route, show IP root static. Oh sorry, show IPv6. So IPv6 root static. Okay, yeah, let's try that. Show IPv6 root static. Ah. IPv6 doesn't allow us 
sorry, the packet tracing doesn't allow us just to see the static routes. Okay, so we have three static routes to network uh, 2001 db 812 which is LAN of R2, um, 2008, 2001 db 813 which is LAN of uh, router 3, and then that's a wide area network between router 1, uh, sorry, router 2 and router 3. Done. For the activity. Okay, so now. Confer configure recursive static routes on R1. Configure an IPv6 recursive static route to every network not directly connected to R1, which we've done. Three recursive static routes. Configure directly attached and fully specified static route on R2. Configure directly attached static routes from R2 to R1 LAN. Okay, great. So we go directly attached. We have to go to route 2. Alright, let's just increase this. A little bit. On router 2, we have to say IPv6 root root, and then the LAN is 2001 db8 colon 1 colon 1 colon colon 64. So IP root 2001 db8 colon 1 colon 1 colon colon forward slash 64. This is LAN of router 1. So directly connected static root is S000. We are pointing to the exit interface rather than neighbor's IP address. And we're going to configure the next step. Configure fully specified route from R2 to R3 LAN. Packet Tracer 6.001 only checks for the direct attached and recursive static route. Your instructor might ask you to review and configuration of fully specified static route. I don't know if it does uh, accept fully specified. Okay, we try. IPv6 root 2001 db8 colon. So we're doing here. So 1 colon 1 colon 3 colon colon 64. And exit interface is 1 s04 slash 04 slash 1. And then the neighbor's IP address, which is 2001 db8 1 a002 and then colon colon let me just check what's the neighbor's IP address R3 this IP address so if I copy control C to copy and I go back to router 2 let me try and paste yeah it works okay great in IPv6 we can configure a fully specified static route. So we have a recursive static route, which is points to the neighbor's IP address. We have a directly connected static route that points to your exit interface. Or we can have a fully specified, which points it says our exit interface and neighbor's IP address. So at one lookup, we can find out both. How to get to the destination network, what is our exit interface, and what is our neighbor's IP address. Excellent. Okay, so if I go back to our activity, verify static route configuration. Okay, sorry, sorry, one more thing. Configure a recursive default route on R3 to reach all networks not directly connected. Now, the last one, the fourth static route, is a default static route. Now, default static route says any network to any destination, right? So, any network to any destination. We have to start with IPv6 root. So any network to any destination, we're going to send it to our neighbor's IP address. Well, 2001 db8. Uh, what was the neighbor's IP address? I cannot remember. The neighbor's IP address is this one. Okay, so copy that. Yes. Okay, so just to explain this so you can see what's happening. Router 1 with router 2 is serial 000. So router 1 S000, this IP address, is connected with router 2 serial 000, this IP address. Router 2 and router 3 is with S001. So this address is connected with this address. So that's why I'm putting on router 3 
I'll put it in that address. Okay, that's my exit interface. Sorry, uh, next stop IP address. There we go. And show IPv6 root. As you can see there, that's our default static root. For any destination, with any prefix, we're just going to send it to our neighbor. Excellent. Do we need to verify anything here? Let's see. We have completed 60 out of 60. So check results. Uh, if I go back, check results. Here, assessment items. Everything tick, tick, tick. I like it. All greens. Right. Uh, we're just going to, nothing is going to, we need to verify this. This is not, if it doesn't ask us, we're just going to do it. Oh, yeah. Here. Verify static root configuration, which command is used to verify IPv6 configuration on a, of a PC from the command from the command prompt. Um, so when I go to the PC, what command do I use to verify IPv6 config? That's I, that's how I verify. What is the IP address of PC? So IPv6 config, not just IP config. Everything is IPv6. So that's my local address, local local link address. Uh, that's my IP address. And the gateway is local address, local link address of the router. This is FE80.01. So I can ping that ping FE80. I'm being in my gateway and I reply. All right. So if I go to PC, say I go to the other PC, PC2, desktop, config, and in here, let me just maximize a little bit. IPv6 config. Okay. So I'm going to ping this address from PC1 to PC2. So I'm just going to highlight it and then copy. Copy, control C. And then if I go to PC1, I don't know if it copied it. Paste. No, it didn't copy. So, okay. I need to put them side by side, I think. Okay. So I'm pinging that address. Okay. 2001 DV8 1. Colon two colon colon f, which is that address of PC one from PC one to PC two. Yep, I got a reply. Excellent. Now let me just check PC three. Can I ping all the way to PC three? So open the PC three, and here I'll do IPv six config. So I want to ping that address. Ping two zero zero one. DB8 1 colon 3 colon colon F and yes I have reply. So everything is working. All all the PCs can ping each other. Anything more to be done in the activity? Which command displays the IPv6 address configured on router interface? Okay, so if I go to the router, what command? Show IPv6 root. This will display the routing table. Show IPv6 interface. Brief. Okay, these are the interfaces. Okay, let me just make it clear something. Here. I have a gigabit Ethernet, which is that's a link local address, and that's a global unicast address. And that's again our global address and the link local address. And both status and protocol is up as well. Which command displays the content of the IPv6 routing table? Okay, we've done this so many times now. Show IPv6 root. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much for watching my video. We'll see you in the next videos. This has been Astrid Krasnici demonstrating, or in this video, I was demonstrating how to configure an IPv6 static and the default route. See you, bye bye.